You know, obviously, Quantrill got caught up a little bit early on, but how do you feel how, how well he battled here tonight? He competed like crazy. He was kind of a two-pitch pitcher tonight, fastball changeup. Um, really was having a real tough time with his cutter, breaking ball. Just thought then, you know, if we're trying to gonna go through the heart of the order another time, that was asking a bit much. Probably caught a break in the fifth. Jose made that play to get the double play. Just, like I said, I thought that was starting to be a reach. And then with that running play with uh, Jose in the third inning, did he just kind of get caught up in between there? I think he kind of lost track of Rizzo. If you look back the other day, Rizzo was backing up like, like a aware guy would. He, I think Jose thought that's where he was. I think he just lost track of him. Other questions? What else? Jason? With uh, Zavali now in a situation pitching a winner-take-all game five, how do you feel about him and how do you feel like he's prepared for, for a moment like this? I think he'll be just fine. I think he'll be just fine. I told him, I said, hey, man, you go pitch your heart out. I said, don't you worry about when we take you out. We'll just keep pitching until we take you out. He, he, he seems like he's in a good place. Uh, Marla? Hope you didn't answer this already, but the Ramirez play when he made the throw from his knees, just, you know, he's had, you know, he had that, you called year, maybe year saving play against the Rays. What have you seen from him, like, defensively in the playoffs? You're talking about that double play? That, yeah. Yeah. He, I mean, at the time, it, it, it saved us a chance to win the game because they, they break it open there. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're having a tough time. We, we kept it where we kept getting somebody on and kind of teasing it a little bit. And, you know, the, the object, I mean, the object is always to win. But the, if, if the next thing is to try to make them use their pen and us not use ours, I thought Cody and Zach did a really good job. The fifth on your left. Um, you kind of answered it. But what can you just say about Cody and Zach, especially late in the game, giving you long innings of relief? You're right, I did just answer that. I, I don't know how to answer it differently. I thought, I mean, Cody, that was Cody's first time pitching in playoffs. Um, I mean, helping us win the game, it was important. But developmentally for him, that was huge. Anything else for Tito? Bradford, get you the mic. Terry, a four high stakes game in four days is always going to be a challenge and a puzzle. Do you at least take solace knowing that you have the your main guys in the bullpen lined up for tomorrow? You know, if you'd have told me back in, I don't know, March, we just signed up to play a game five in New York to go to the AL CS. <laughs> Thanks. I might jog to New York. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, I'm excited. Anything else for Tito? I'll finish up over here. And even with Eli Morgan tonight, obviously the inning was kind of tough, a couple bad breaks there. But, I mean, for him to battle through that and kind of limit the damage, really impressive. I agree with you. I agree with you. I know that's not a question, but I'm agreeing he did. He, he did battle. If he, you know, if he gives in there, they start putting up some crooked numbers. We're in a lot of trouble. He really did battle.